Hi and welcome. I have two derailleur hanger tools. I bought this one, it's from Unior and I got this one from Unior, I didn't pay for it. And this one, both have their flaws and I have some idea how I would make a good uh, derailleur hanger tool. And the first thing about this one, it has a problem that there is a lot of play in this bottom section and I will show it when I screw it in, it's not visible when you hold it in the air so to speak but when I screw it in here you can see the amount of the amount of play hopefully that the tool itself has if I tighten this then there's too much friction and I unscrew it when I turn it counterclockwise the other problem with this tool is that this rod is not long enough and so this is all, all overextended even with this bent thing and there's too much play in this interface between the outer and the inner inner tube. It's a bit less prominent when it's uh, a bit pushed down but still not a very good solution. The, the longer lever over exaggerates the, the imperfection. So putting some tighter tolerances needle bearings would probably be too expensive and, and needless. The cool thing about this is that I can e measure in different positions quickly and easily but it's inaccurate so it's practically useless unfortunately in practice after some use in the shop I've given up on this one and very sorry about that. This tool has a bit uh, better design see this bracing angle is a bit it's a lot wider compared to this one and so it's easier to eliminate play without creating too much friction and so this doesn't have any play in that section and the top section is preloaded with a spring so here is a hole this thing goes in then between this rod and the, the tube there is one bearing ball, then a spring and then another bearing ball. So as you can see it prevents this from easily moving. I can move it by hand but it doesn't fall out and this it's when I press it it pre jumps back. So it uh, keeps it more or less from sliding too freely up and down but sideways there's no preload and nothing and this is too narrow. They should have made it a bit deeper to prevent this rocking without super tight tolerances. This does not affect uh, measurement accuracy too much because it works in an arc. It doesn't move to, to rock back and forth as it does here but it moves in an arc so it's pretty accurate and the only downside is that when I have some tubes or other things I need to stop with my hand, pull it out, rotate it and then pull it back to where I marked with my hand. So it takes a bit of more time and patience and if you're not patient you can hit something on the frame. This one nicely turns. So in my opinion the ideal option would be to make this with a round profile and make this a bit deeper and prevent it from, from rocking easily and that would probably make a, a lot better hanger alignment tool. So if anyone from Unior company watches this here are the models I hope they, they fix this. I have nothing against Unior company. I would really love to see them make an improved tool and I'd be happy to, to buy it and use it if it's good. But this way it's, it's not ideal and the thing that I really get a bit frustrated and amazed, it doesn't stop amazing me, is that it's not just one company. It generally seems that uh, people design really silly things without testing them. In this case this should have been tested by mechanics in a real workshop for a month or two just to get feedback and they would figure it out probably. So no testing and someone approves that design and puts it in production and they sell it to you, take your money. I, I got this for free. I didn't pay for this again. I got it just as a, as a gift. No, no strings attached which is cool. I appreciate it and I hope this feedback is taken to uh, improve like a uh, free testing and uh, research and development uh, feedback. 
uh, our Slovenian brothers uh, don't have to pay anything just to make hope they make better tools and that is the whole video thank you very much for watching I hope this helped you if you are considering to whether or not to buy this tool and I'll see you in some other video cheers stay cool